Hello everyone and welcome back to uh welcome back to Radiant Arc. Two seconds before I hit the record button, some dogs started barking. If you didn't believe me before when I say I don't get <laughs> Again, it, it's just funny. Anyway, uh let's can let's continue on. Um I think we might be almost done with this dungeon. We didn't get that far in, admittedly, but like it, it is kind of a small dungeon. Um that you can it seems like you can run through it pretty quickly. Now we saw we met a fairy who told us that um the dungeon's boss um can put you to sleep. And there's apparently something hidden in the um in this dungeon that can uh, ooh. There's apparently something hidden here somewhere um that can cure sleep or make you immune to it. Nope, that's just some gold. I kind of can't find any more exits, though. Was the Mimic the boss, perhaps? I highly doubt it. I was just saying to it a bit off-screen. Um, I really like the music in this area. How did I not get into a battle with that guy? Good luck. Oh, I think down there is where I need to go. It's still that. Aha! There it is. Okay. Hmm. Oh, they even increase the stats too. Not much, but yeah, immunity to sleep. There we go. That's pretty cool. Is that a person? Oh, hey there, need any items? You again. Those items have not improved, though. Can you sell to him? Yes, you can. Interesting. Oh, I need you to move. Not in that... Uh. <laughs> there we go. That thing's attack is really frustrating. Uh, I think we're at the boss. Okay, let me check my magic and health real quick. Lexi is missing a lot of health. Let's fix that. Um, and I think the Linky will be good. Yeah, why not? We always get more later. All right, let's do this. Now this thing can put you to sleep, apparently. 
Wow, the enemies here are fast too. Even the tree went before, got its turn before we did. Uh, that's a physical attack, so I, I need to kill the tree. Is this gonna be like the slime boss where like the tree can like summon more? I think I might as well start with that if that's the case. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, the pink flower can heal. Okay, that's a problem. We need Lexi alive. Oh, dang. That didn't work on anyone, good. She has two abilities that act like that. That's kind of weird. Um, she has that thing for one more turn. Ah, dang. I kind of just want to do this again because I did way too much damage last time. No, I should have her heal. Hold on, where's cooking? Uh, draw aggro again. Oh no. Can I do this with just these two? Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can kill these two in the front. Yeah, and I can only use one of those per turn, or per, um, per battle. Interesting. Okay, good. I, I wasted an ability there, but it's fine. Now, does he summon more? That's the question. Why did he flash? I think I missed something there. Does that work on dead party members? Oh, I want to hear. I want to heal Linky. There we go. Dang. And I'm out of magic. We have this. He's regaining health.
gaining health fast, too. Yeah, we need to brute force this. I feel like I missed, like, a, like a strategy of this, but... Yeah, I'd still able to do it anyway. Well, that was pretty fun. Look at all the apples that just dropped! <laughs> Alright, cool. I like that boss a lot. Dang, this game has been, like... All of the bosses in this game have been really good so far. Oh, more blue stats. Red stat. Orange. Flowery Helm. Okay, let's see what that does. Um, a heavy helmet decorated with a bloom of flowers reduces earth damage taken, take 10% less magical damage. Okay, anything that's lowered by one is, like, not even a factor. Can anyone equip that? No, she can't equip heavy armor. He can equip that. Yeah, that's just straight up better. Say, so let's do it. I kind of want to give it to you, though. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh. oh. Let's go ahead and leave this place then. Oh. God, that is dark. Um, oh, it's it's 10 p.m. No, it's 11 p.m. I actually have not read an analog clock in a while. Man, okay, I think this is more of a threat <laughs> than actually like not being able to see that well. Oh, dang. I'm gonna go back to the town real quick and see if I can sleep until morning. This song sounds familiar. I think this is from the uh, from the uh, RTP. There we go. You know, given how um, oddly specific those numbers are, like 6 p.m., 10 p.m., I get this odd feeling that, um... Yeah, I get this odd feeling that maybe some missions are going to be um, time-specific. I don't know, just like a little bit of an inkling I have. The first few frames I'm on the map are really slow for some reason. <laughs> Alright, we're back to normal. So, I think we have to head west in order to get to the next place we need to go. Although, give, again, given this game, I'm gonna do uh, cool, like, cool optional stuff I see along the way, because I feel like that's what you're supposed to do. Chessboard. Mist Cave. Oh, Mountainside. Hold on. Check this out. Oh, oranges. There you are again. That one was really not that that hidden. <laughs> also, we have three of these, so I can go ahead and use them now. Why is my party asleep? No, that's not the sleep status. Oh, is that like a well-rested buff? I, I've seen a couple games do that sort of thing. That's another incentive to uh, to go to the inn. I really like this song. <laughs> Sounds almost like Zelda music. You know, am I the... Wait, that's the default party for RPG Maker MV. Oh, it has the same name too. I wish I was in my own game. <laughs> oh, Harold, I always wanted to be the hero of my story. 
Listen, Harold, this time it's someone else's. That's that's really funny. That That's a really, like, in-joke that only RPG Maker devs are going to get. <laughs> I really like that. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Ah, do I feel ready to do a level nine dungeon? Level nine to 12. Let's do this. I'll heal up after this and then, yeah, my party isn't asleep. It must be like a well rested buff. I'm gonna use my magic. Yeah, I'd say they're well rested if they're one shotting these guys. All right, cool. Eh, you know what? Who dares wins? Worst case scenario can always come back later. Let's see, like, what kind of enemies are here first, though. Oh, this is a lot. Why does that enemy have like? Is that, like, super armor? Do I need to pierce that somehow? Just looking at this, I think I might not be ready for this area. Let me try- let me- okay. I want to kill some of the enemies first. Aim. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, this will let me test that. Well, it one-shot you. Is that a fish? Yeah, I think that's a fish. That blinded him. Yeah, it is a fish. Um. Does that knock him out of it? No, that does not knock him out of it in this game. I can't control him, he's confused. Okay, judging by that fight, I'm gonna say I'm not ready for this area. We'll come back here later. Yeah, that, that took a little too long, and Linky actually died too. That's what the normal enemies look like. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do a potential boss. Well, let's just continue on then. Oh my god, like, th this is how you do an open world in a, in a, um, in a traditional RPG. Like, you don't need to, like, make it so the enemies are the same level you are all of the time. Instead, you just, like, give a safe spot to be in, like the overworld and then warn players if the area they're going to is way stronger. Like, you can still do them if you're ready, or if you think you can do it. But, like, there's not really much of a penalty for trying it, at least. I, I respect that kind of design. We have another inn. This game loves its inns. Lots of apples here, too. Oh, fair enough.
Oh, there you are again. <laughs> I gotta say, I love I love looking for all the Dannys. I kind of wonder what the treasures are for, though. Maybe you get, like, an achievement if you get them all. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get them all, but I'll, I'll, I'll collect... <laughs> I'll, I'll get as many as I can. Kira... Oh, there's the place I need to be. Kingdom of Fayal. I don't know why, but I feel underleveled. Holy water. Why is that? Th is this going to be a dungeon? There wasn't a recommended level outside of it. A lash. Okay. Can anyone equip that? A special whip known to lash out use 5% less MP. Is that meant for, like, mages? Huh. Is this if I want to, like, make Linky a magic user? That's my best guess. try it for a bit. I tend to really... I, whenever I play these types of games, I typically am a magic user. I just find that kind of play very fun. Also, you can learn something new. Um, charge. I mean, heck, we're gonna be a magic uh, user. Let's learn some magic. Let's learn, um... Kingdom of Fayal. That doesn't really sound like an elemented kind of area. Do I need a sword to use these? I'm gonna assume yes. So I can't use some of my skills, probably. Let's do, uh, tell you what, let's do... Wind and Earth. For now. Oh, we can learn another one of these. Starts turp. Oh my goodness. That's kind of cool. Oh, regen. That gives you regen. I can't just be looking at the effects, though, because these actually consume items, so I should probably keep in mind, like, what they actually, um, what they actually get rid of, too. Like, for example, I don't think I have grapes yet, so maybe I shouldn't get that. I don't know what some of those are, honestly. What is bomb shot? Slow charge. So it's just like a sink. That's an SP move. She doesn't have many of those. That wounds. It's pretty good. Oh, let's get french fries. Oh, you can learn another. Old meat. this. That might... I'm gonna get that. Alright, cool. The entrance seems to be sealed. Okay, that's probably going to be, like, a required dungeon later on. That's my guess. Well, we made it to the kingdom. Wait, did we? I just know there's a mountain range here. Oh, hi, Dan. <laughs> Can I call you Dan? There we go. Okay, it looks like we have, um, like, a mountain range before we do this. Road to fail. Why is the music in this game so good? I swear, like, is that a that's a warthog and like candy? What are those? Interesting source. Let's see what the, the attack looks like. Yeah, that is noticeably less than what he normally does. So that that weapon is probably if we do want to be a magic user instead of a physical attacker. I might try that for reasons I explained earlier. 
These enemies I don't think I need to use much magic on, though. It's a Bush Wisp. Interesting. Twenty-five minutes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it off here. Um, next time we'll continue this dungeon on a little bit. I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.